Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where normally we learn about Elixir by building things, but I was recently forced to get a Mac for a project I'm working on, so I picked up one of the new Mac minis, and it's time to set it up. So, first thing I'm going to get is Homebrew. It's a package manager, kind of like apt-get is for Linux. If you've ever seen my previous videos where I type sudo apt-get install something, this does the same thing for Mac, and you just type brew, space, whatever that thing is. So we'll install it in our shell, and just as I do on Windows, I tend to use Visual Studio Code as my main terminal, although of course it's not the only one. Xcode command line tools will be installed. So I have already installed Xcode, and Apparently, I thought I had the command line tools, but apparently I don't, so this script is getting them for me. Uh, in general, uh, a lot of people feel uncomfortable running uh, a curl as a script, and that's, that's pretty reasonable uh, to be concerned about that. In the case of homebrew, it's pretty much just what people do, though. Right? This is probably going to take forever because... Uh, just because uh, I know how stuff is with Apple. And that pretty much did take forever from my point of view. So I paused the video so it won't from yours. Now that we've got brew, we can install all kinds of things. Let's get wget first. That's just a, a handy utility for getting files. And uh, it will get the dependencies for me. Excellent. After this, I think we'll get uh, bash completion, which is... Uh, just a useful utility gives us better uh, tab completion from bash than we have by default. And once that's done, the next tool we'll get is called ASDF, which is a package manager for languages. So you may have heard of RVM, which will uh, let you install several versions of Ruby and switch between them, or NVM, which does the same thing for Node.js. ASDF will let you do that with uh, Ruby, Node, Elixir, Erlang, and other languages as well. And we probably want both of these. Okay, we'll just uh, edit our bash profile directly like this. So bash profile. Then we'll grab these as well. All right, that should pretty much do it. The other thing I said I was going to get is bash completions, which shouldn't take any uh, brew install bash completions. And this shouldn't uh, have too many dependencies like the last one did. Bash completion. There we go, called bash completion. Very good. Now let's go get that language manager I was talking about, ASDF. So that's at github.com slash ASDF VM, I believe, slash ASDF. Yep, that's right. 